Why do you think conspiracy theories have grown so much? Because you know, people say that conspiracy theories have been around for ages, but not to this scale, I don't think. They're, they're growing so much and more and more people are believing with like QAnon in America and the 5G conspiracy theory about COVID. Social media. Yeah. It, it, it's easy to even, and I, again, this could be a cause, but I don't know if this happens, but it's easy mm-hmm. for people. I don't know if you watch The Social Dilemma, I did, yeah. Favorite documentary today. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's it's great, and it really even now I'm, I still find little bits out of it that pique mm-hmm. my interest. But I think you could even say, you know, it's easy for anybody to spread misinformation now. Um, mm-hmm. Like you're saying, Donald Trump has used social media as a way to put his message across, and people take from that what they will. So, and it leaves room to be misinterpreted. I mean, you can't explain yourself fully in 120 characters. So people can now just tweet out a couple of words. People say, oh my God, well, that, that means that. And other people go, well, no, that means that. Also, and if we're talking about conspiracy theories, like the 5G network and things like that, who knows where that really started from? Who actually mm-hmm. put that out on the internet? Was it just somebody sitting in their house and they've done a bit of research on the Chinese government, so they've put that online, or was it mm-hmm. a bigger power? You don't know. So I think it's easy now for people to sit behind the screen on an anonymous account and put things out there. Um, so it's definitely social media, because like I said, we live now behind the screen. Mm-hmm. So you don't need to be accountable for really what you're saying. You can set up a fake account and you can put anything out there that you want to put out mm-hmm. there. I think they were saying, I don't know if it was in the social dilemma, but it was best, definitely the guy that created it, um, Tristron Harris. Mm-hmm. I think it was, it was on maybe the Joe Rogan podcast. He was talking about that it's easy for someone to believe conspiracy theories based on their kind of circle of people around them. So if you had someone, say, in the deep south in America, who's in a town of everyone's telling them this one thing, this is how the world is then you're going, to, you're going to go onto the news networks and, and all your people on social media are going to be confirming everything you're saying. So it's, it's, it's quite easy to understand how people can get sucked into it and not look at them in such, such a negative light that they're just like people like, will just like um, call them idiots or something like that. But it's very easy to, to see how that happens. Mm-hmm. But like it's an echo chamber kind of thing. Yeah.